Hello my loves, so um, thank you for tuning in. So we already know that there's going to be some pretty heavy stuff to deal with because Barony governs over pretty serious matters. And then obviously we can think about um, Yama, you know, the, the god of death. This week begins under Barony, and that's the lunar mansion of the Cosmic Yoni, um, which basically means creation, rejuvenation, purifying, or cleansing. Now, Barony is governed over by the god Yama, and um, Yama is the god of death and the protector of our dharmas. When I say dharma, it essentially means the right way of living and you know so straight away you know we have barony at the beginning of the week so we already know that there's going to be some pretty heavy stuff to deal with because barony governs over pretty serious matters right everything connected to the yoni is serious and then obviously we can think about um yama you know the the god of death that's that's pretty serious um and obviously if you want to know more about Yama, I can do a little video about that if that's something that you're interested in. But Barony, um, obviously, just an example, like, okay, so when we're dealing with Barony, right, when you give birth to a baby, things that come from the Yoni, okay, when you give birth to a baby, for example, you're then responsible for that life for a time, if not the rest of your life. So Barony essentially teaches us the power of our creations, of your actions, you know, having it, having and saying that your actions will always have consequences. And it definitely kind of represents this theme of endings and beginnings, just like with Yama, with death, there is a new beginning, you know, energy doesn't just die right it's always present ever present um so i definitely feel like this week this week is and it should kind of represent an ending and a beginning and perhaps this is to enable you or somebody else to you know right a wrong um for other people it could simply indicate that you know someone else's perspective on something that happened in the past and it can denote that, you know, your perception as being vastly different from their perception. And um, it's kind of like a need to remedy it, right? There is this theme of right and wrongs, doing what's right. And so, you know, whether somebody is returning back into your life, like a soldier returning home, or whether you're holding on to a relationship that is super disruptive for your well-being, this week is cautioning you you know, from impulsive action until you learn more about the situation in its entirety and not just from your single perspective. And in truth, I definitely feel like many people have remained stagnant for a long time and stuck in this position of fear, fear with the uncertainty of what could or what would happen if they were to take action. And so it's this week that you'll come to realize that the fear that you felt before was actually just fear. And obviously I say this all the time to all of my clients, but fear is not real. It lives only in the mind, okay? And Mars retrograde is actually gonna give you the courage to see that nothing is stopping you from moving forward, but you. So, you know, whatever has been holding you back, whatever was holding you back will no longer be doing so. Okay, so just allow the courage to empower you in the direction of your true aims. This is not a free pass to do as you please, okay? Remember that Yama is judging your actions, so don't act immorally. You know what's right, you know what's wrong. So don't do something just because you think nobody's watching, because someone is always watching, okay? That's, you know, the whole Mars retrograde cycle of everything that we're going to be experiencing over the next sort of few months. So... Mars goes retrograde on the 9th. If you've missed the video, you can watch it up in the cards. I'm going to link it up in the cards. You can click on that video. I'll also link it in the comments and in the information box. But just to summarise, when Mars is retrograde, we're more likely to be impulsive and reactive. We no longer have the sun keeping us on a leash, right? So we think that nobody's watching. We don't have to stay in regiment. We don't have to stay in our, like, stay in a certain position and a great question to ask is you know what would you do if nobody was watching you know because mars retrograde can ignite this urge to do something 
simply because you think you're going to get away with it. And we have to be mindful of our actions during this time, especially as, you know, the planet is beginning to shift. So essentially he's halting and then he's turning directions. Okay, when a planet does this, it always creates some sort of physical manifestation of that energy, especially when you're dealing with the inner planets, especially when you're dealing with a planet like Mars. So around the 9th or pretty much all of this week, just be mindful of how you exert and use your power. How do you use your Mars energy? Where is it in your natal chart? Let me know in the comments down below. The week has this air, just more intuitively, what came through meditation. The week has an air of nostalgia. And for some people, okay, things that you've been repressing in the past could now be triggered in order to be dealt with to heal and to move forward. Now, totally granted, moving on is easier said than done. And, um, you know, as the planets are suggesting, you know, we, we have to journey back to course correct, you know, wrong deeds um, as to properly heal. And then and only then will we gain what it, what is needed to move forward. You know, we do have Chiron up here. OK, Chiron is here. Um, so there is healing that is needed that you may be bypassing um, that needs to kind of be acknowledged and dealt with in the proper form. Otherwise, it's going to manifest in ailing you in some way you know mars in many ways just like the sun has governed over our energy our vitality so when you stop and like when you start repressing lots of stuff that stuff gets stuck inside of you and when you're bottling up you know bottles and bottles and bottles of mars um that's an explosive that's a little bit too much heat for the body um you know so yeah that that can manifest in um adverse ways so you definitely need to you know, acknowledge the um, the opportunity that is being presented to you. Um, it doesn't matter how much we fear it. Um, remember, fear doesn't exist, okay? It doesn't matter how much we fear it. It is going to aid you, like, purposefully, it's going to aid you moving forward. So Mars, in many ways, is our desires. It's what we seek to conquer or to win. And so when retrograde, we might be able to now see people's true motivations and what they truly stand for, which can definitely cause a lot of anger because, you know, not everyone is super open about what they stand for. Not everyone is super, you know, it's not always easy to see, you know, a person's actions, especially if, you know, their Mars is um, in a hidden part of a chart um, or below the horizon, right? It's not always easy to see those things in a person, but when Mars is retrograde, you can definitely kind of gauge a lot more on, you know, what a person actually stands for, what they think about things. Um, it's really actually kind of weird. Um, very weird indeed. Um, so, you know, questions that kind of came up through meditation, it's like, what would a rogue soldier do if not under the eyes of the general, if they were given free reign to do as they please? And then asking yourself the question, you know, what action would you take if you thought your actions would have no consequences? Now, I have like a lot of, um, uh, I've got like Ardra and Shadow Bishaka in my chart and I'm pretty much, you know, I kind of stick to my morals. That's not me saying like I'm on a pedal stool and like, you know, what you see is what you get. But that's kind of how I am um, as a person, um, you know, so... I wouldn't do anything otherwise and I think that that is the same for some people you know so like people with like Barani, people with Shravana um, and people with Shadow Bishaka you know they are impartial you know they don't judge in the same way that maybe perhaps others judge and there's no shade or shame on that okay every expression is needed in the world right um, but these things these heightened kind of responses are what we're going to be seeing in the world for the next sort of you know couple of months so it's kind of like asking what action would you personally take if you thought that that action would have no consequences you know because sometimes it is fear that keeps us in check you know sometimes it is fear and I always say like with the purge movie I was like if that was actually allowed if that was actually like a thing like so many people would that and it sounds really dark to say that but like people you know, they do control their urges, they do control, you know, what is, you know, what is society, what society says is right and wrong, and they do keep certain things under check, but like, given the chance, without that consequence, you know, and this can range for a whole bunch of different things, but like, you know, 
some people would actually take action upon that and those are the types of things that you might start to see um surrounding you so Mars retrograde always gives off this strange energy, at least from the previous, you know, few cycles that I've been observing. But like people just seem to have less control over their impulses and therefore their actions. Right. Um, so like a moral and just person might be just that, you know, they might be exactly how they're seen, especially if Mars, you know, is above the horizon. You can clearly see everything that they do. Right. But like with those people who have Mars below the horizon within their natal chart, like they really do have like like they do things like sneakily, um, you know, it's just weird to watch anyway so you know someone who's hiding themselves and that's their natural state of hiding who they are and you know what they do you know behind the scenes and their actions or their motivations when mars goes retrograde a lot of this actually gets exposed unexpectedly and it's a lot harder for people to conceal their mars energy you know whether that is super positive or super negative or super negative or like super just dodgy right like it's harder for people to to negate that and i believe this is why it's super best right if anybody even if you're like a dodgy person right the best way to use mars retrograde is to use this plan to plot and to plan you know to take the forceful action right later on so you do your prep work when mars is retrograde okay you don't go doing things so you have to remove yourself from all temptation if you have immoral needs or desires is like my biggest advice because you're not going to be able to control yourself um you know and obviously there are certain medical mental conditions um where this can be heightened obviously it does depend you know where mars is in your chart what it's you know ruling and um you know how you know what he's like governing within your chart but um yeah you know that's some things that i i often see so you know an angry person may have many episodes during this time um because the nature of mars is unleashed um so obviously if you are in a situation where you have um uh, I guess an explosive person in your life this would be a time to set aside precautions and a backup plan so that you you don't have to be um you know you don't have to be the uh the target of that unleashing of Mars let's just say um so anyway this is what I have for you I hope that it can offer some insight into the week ahead if you're looking for a personal session please do book here I'll link it in the cards and also in the information box below lastly if you like these weeklies and you want me to continue making them please do give this video a thumbs up or a like a share if you're feeling generous um you know it's all free leave me a comment and um just helps me to know who likes these and who doesn't like them so I can actually focus on the stuff that people do like and do want to hear so thank you so much and I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead um, I'll be seeing you soon and um, yeah thank you so much